Sea otters, of course, are Monterey, Monterey Bay is famous for sea otters. Sea otters, uh, one time populated all of the Pacific, all along the Pacific coast, and they're heavily populated in the Monterey area. But they were heavily hunted. They were heavily hunted by uh, Russians in particular, who came here in the 1790s. In fact, Russian, Russian ships brought native folks from the Pacific Northwest to come in and hunt sea otters in the Monterey Bay. And they hunted them very, very heavily. And and of course, the, the the hide of the sea otter is the softest softest fur in the world. I think they have up to a million hairs per square inch, and so there was a big demand for them, particularly in Asia and in China. There was a, a lot of money to be made in the sea otter trade, and they were hunted to extinction in other parts of the Pacific Northwest and along the Pacific coast. At one time, the sea, I believe the sea otter ranged all the way across the Pacific. I know you can find them in Japan today, uh, still, but. But luckily in Monterey, they, they didn't actually hunt them all. They thought they had been extinct. They had thought they'd killed them all. But there was a small raft of otters, I know, that continued to exist and live down along the Big Sur coast. In fact, abalone divers in the early 20s used to hunt them down there. They used to refer to them as sea cats because they were always going after their abalone when they were trying to bring it up. And I, there was a young man when he was a young man who grew up at the Point Sur Light Station in the 1920s, told me once that he remembers as a boy at night, they would see the abalone divers in the daytime diving off of the light station, and then at uh, night he would hear them out there hunting sea otters with their rifles, and then they were shipping the, the pelts back to Japan. Uh, but the California Department of Fish and Game had always known that that small wrath of otters was down there. They kept it quiet. They didn't want anybody to go down there. They were just concerned about it. Uh, and so, and then they were sort of discovered again, I believe in 1934, uh, there was a rat, that raft was found and, and soon they, were, they were protected. And then the sea otter population has since grown. Uh, I'm not sure what it is today, but it's grown quite a bit since the small raft that was found again, I believe in the early 1930s. Well, the sea otter pelts were hunted because the pelt was so soft and Sea otters have no blubber, so they eat constantly, and, the, and their fur is just incredibly soft and warm. And so there's, and they were, just besides jackets and whatnot to wear, they're also being utilized for fashion. You know, they were, made the hats, they made little vests and all kinds of things out of the sea otter. Shoes, I've seen little sea otter slippers out of sea otter pelts. The native people, too, Rumsey and people, also used the sea otter pelts constantly, wore them. Uh, little sea otter capes and uh, things like that was fairly common. It kept you warm. That's probably the main reason why they were after them. Russians knew there was, the Russians went after because there was money to be made. I mean, they were making money on this, big money on this, because they, they were trading these in Asia. They were selling them. Russians initially settled in the Alaska area and then began to move south into, into, uh, into California. They established Fort Ross and it started to come into the Monterey area all because of sea otters. That was the main reason they were coming down here, was to hunt sea otters and, and also collect abalone. As they, they actually took so much abalone out of the bay in the 1790s that they almost depleted the abalone source out there at one time. Sea otters, of course, like to eat abalones. So uh, Russians were then taking the, the sea otter pelts and then they were then in turn selling these sea otter pelts either in Russia or in Europe and also in Asia. Today, sea otter population has certainly grown, and I, I believe it's somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 sea otters uh, in the Monterey Bay today, and, they're, and they are heavily protected, of course. Um, they're still sort of a bane to a lot of fishermen, but they're also sort of an icon to Monterey, and people love to come and see them and, and see them out there. But, they are certainly recovering.